Bywin is a brand that you may not have heard of, but their NAND powers some of the devices that you probably already know, and they're gonna be entering the United States soon under their own name, and they have a handful of products here at Coffee Text. So let's go ahead and run through them. Starting out here, we have their X570 Pro, which is a PCI Express 5.0 NVMe SSD. This is gonna have max read speed of 14 gigabytes a second, max write of 13 gigabytes a second. Here they show it with the non-heat sync version, but it's also gonna be available in a heat sync version. Moving on to memory here, this is their DW100 UDIM and this is gonna be their RGB memory here. So across the top of the modules, you'll have your RGB lighting, and then you will be able to get these in both white and black versions here. Now, as far as speed, up to 8,400 megahertz, and max capacity is going to be 64 gigabytes. They also have non-RGB memory. So this is their HX100, and it has a really aggressive looking heatsink here available in both the silver and the black as far as speeds go up to 7200 megahertz and max capacity is going to be 64 gigabytes as well for all of the enthusiasts and overclockers they're also going to have their dw100 oc lab gold edition memory and the cool thing about this memory is all these demos that they have here are running at essentially expo and xmp profiles so this one is only running at 6400 megahertz but look at those super super tight timings Moving over to this system here, this is 256 gigabytes, again, running at 6,400, with, again, very tight timings of 32, 45, 45, 108. And then finally, this third system has 128 gigabytes running at 8,400 megahertz. Finally, they have this triple system setup that shows their memory running at 10,400 megahertz on XMP on three different motherboards from three different manufacturers. And the reason why they're actually able to achieve this is because they actually buy the wafer themselves. So they have more fine tuned control over what's possible. Now expect to see these products enter the US market later this year.